So we've been looking through the forums and one of the things that we've noticed is that um, although people seem to understand what we're talking about in the videos with regard to modes, there's some people that aren't entirely sure about what that actually means in terms of how they sound. Um, so one important thing I think is that people often think, well, okay, C Ionian is, is otherwise known as C major, is all the white notes on the piano from C to C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C again. But D Dorian is using exactly the same pool of notes, but it's just starting the scale on D. So instead of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, we've got D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Now, a fairly legitimate question that people often say is, well, what difference does this does this make actually? It's just the same pool of notes, why is it going to sound any different? And I think the important thing to note is that it's the internal relationships uh, between the notes. We hear D as our, as our kind of... Um, important note in this key and as such although we're using the same notes as C major the relationships between these notes changes. And let's have the major chord and let's have uh, Ionian and instead of just playing the scale I'm just going to uh, noodle about on the saxophone just as an illustration for what it's going to sound like. And what I'm going to do is not just play the chord exactly I'm going to do a little bit as well just to give us a sense of music in this mode. So this first thing uh, the idea we're trying to create here is the major mode music sound. So let's this is Ionian just to cover it. Okay, so that was just all the notes of the C major scale with a C major triad, okay? Taking the C major scale, that was a triad built on the first note, C, and the scale built on the first note, C. We're just going to move up a tone, we're going to do everything on D, which is the second note, using the same notes available to us. Sound. So we're still using all the same notes, but because we had a different triad, the triad built on the second note of the scale, built on D, we got a minor triad, and actually the Dorian had a minor sound to it as well. So let's move up and do the third one, which is a G this time. Still using all the same pool of notes, but because of the internal relationship of the notes, we get a completely different sound. We'll just skip through them a wee bit quicker now, actually. Right? So, what we're going to do is move on to the fourth, which is our Lydian in the key of C. So again, that's a major sound, it's sounding different to our other one because of the different internal relationships of notes. So, so far we've had uh, Ionian, which was major sounding, still using the same notes of C major scale. Dorian, which was minor sounding, Phrygian, which was minor sounding, and then we just had Lydian, which was major sounding. Again, these are all using the same notes drawn from the C major scale. So hopefully you can see now already that these are starting to sound uh, very different despite using the same available notes. So we're going to go to the mix of Lydian now.
was our aeolian, that was our uh, natural minor, we've called it in other points in this course. But again, this really is just a video just to let you hear the difference in sound, and we want you to go away and try and do this yourself. Now we're going to move on to the seventh, the triad built on the seventh degree, and we're going to play with it, the mode built on the seventh degree. This is a diminished triad, and this is our Locrian mode, and it does have a different sound. quite a distinct character for this one. So hopefully that's helped just as a little video really just to, to so excuse to play some jazz. And excuse to play some music but also <laughs> to let you hear chords and scales working together and hopefully tie down this this idea of uh, modes and how you can get very very different sounds using the same pool of available notes. 